What's up gamers? This is NGG here with another episode of a collections video. This time it is gonna be of Mario and we are celebrating the last of his 35th anniversary. We are gonna say goodbye to Mario and some of his games on the 35th and this is my whole collection um, for all, um, up, all up to now that I own for the Mario 35th. Um, so let's get started. I'm gonna start with the, the newest stuff to the oldest stuff. Um, video games first and then um, amiibos and then ex extra stuff. Alright, let's get started. Okay, the first game I have for you is Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle. Now, my copy is not open, but when I, I was with my ex, I used to play his copy. So I have played a little bit of this game. <laughs> it's a tactical RPG with Mario and Rabbids. And so... I did like it for what it was. I don't play a lot of tactical games, but I, you know, I liked it for what it was. The next game I have for you here is um, Super Smash Bros. Now, you know, look, Mario's right there on the cover, so definitely, definitely a Mario game. Um, yeah, I play Super. Sm I stream it, stream it sometimes. I'm not the best at this game, but I de definitely, definitely do play this game and stream it. The next game I have for you guys here is Super Mario Odyssey. Now, I've never played this game, uh, so I can't tell you if it's good or not. Um, I know everybody loves it. I am trying to play all the Mario games in order from when the 35th anniversary started, and um, the person I was playing with just hasn't been able to play with me. The next game I have for you is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Now, this one I stream as well. I'm not very good at it. I used to play these all the time when I was younger and I just, I don't know, I'm not very good at it anymore. The next game I have for you here is Mario Tennis Aces. I tried it once on like um, one of those buses that they had like at a Walmart and uh, me and my son were playing it and I bought it so we can play together and we just never got a time to play this game. I really need to open this game and play this. The next game I have for you is Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. I have yet to play this one so I couldn't tell you anything about it but um, since Tokyo 2020 Olympics never happened I feel like this is gonna be the odd rare game that they might re-release with a different cover for when the, the games actually do happen. The next game I got for you is Super Mario Maker 2 and now I bought this like at the beginning of Mario 35th anniversary because I just got so caught up in the hype with all the Mario games. I have yet to open it but again I'm trying to play all my games in order and that includes this one. The next game I have for you is Super Mario Party. Now I played this one with my sister on her copy so my copy is not open but um, I didn't like how limited it felt. And I wish we could play the boards online with friends. I get playing the smaller mini boards with randoms, but play the full boards with your friends online would be great, especially during this pandemic. The next game I have for you here is Super Mario U Deluxe. Now, I didn't own a Wii U, so I never actually got to play this one. And I also, this one I also picked up for like, I think 40 bucks during the last, last year, I mean, yeah, last year's sale for Mario games. The next game I have for you is Mario 3D All-Stars. Now, um, I've played Super Mario Sunshine on the GameCube and loved it. I actually one of my favorite Mario games. Uh, I know a lot of people don't like that one, but I really, really liked that one. So it's one of my favorite Mario games. The next game I have for you is Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. Now, I'm actively playing this one, which is weird because it skipped all of everything, but because it's a multiplayer, and I kind of like it, actually, that it's multiplayer, that I don't, I'm don't, i not by myself, and I find it much more enjoyable that way. And the last game I have for you is Luigi's Mansion 3. Now, I know it's not a Mario game, but he does. Mario is in this game, so I figured since he's in it, I will include him. The next game I have for you is Mario Kart, I believe this is 6, if I'm not mistaken. I know 8 is the one on the Switch. Uh, this might be 7 or 6, 6 or 7, one of the two. Um, so yeah, Mario Kart Wii is definitely a game I played uh, on my Wii when I had it. The next game I have for you is... 
Super Mario, Super Paper Mario. Now, I wanted to get into Mario games using the RPG versions of Mario games because I really love RPGs and I figured, oh wait, what way better to get into Mario games than to play an RPG? So that's why you'll see a lot of my games in my collection are the RPGs because I was just buying everything up so that when I started playing them, I could just knock them all down on one shot. And the next game I have for you is Wario Land Shake It. Now, um, I don't know if Mario actually appears in this game or not. I don't remember playing it, um, but it is he. Wario is part of the Mario franchise, so I included it in this collection. Okay, the next thing you have for you here is... The Wii, U, the Wii Dark Edition Starter Pack, Skylanders Imaginators, I mean Superchargers, and the reason this one's out there is because Bowser was there with his clown car. So this one was only released for the Nintendo. Uh, the other Dark Editions had other stuff for other systems. The next game I have for you is Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga plus Bowser's Minions. So again, like I said, I don't know which order these games go in. When I start playing them, I'm gonna get ready to... I'll figure out the order, but uh, like I said, I picked up every RPG I could find on Mario that was within a budget. Um, Mario and Luigi's Dream Team. I heard this one was pretty good. My son played this one. Um, he has his own copy of this one. Mario and Luigi G Paper Jam. I think this was when they were trying to fuse the Mario and Luigi and the uh, Paper Mario series together. And then this is the last one that came out on the 3DS. Yeah, Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story plus Bowser's Junior Journey. So this has some DLC in it. Now we have Mario, Super Mario Sticker Star. Um, so this is, you know, another one in the sticker series. And now, because I'm playing Mario 3D World, I think I want to open my Mario 3D Land. I heard it's, um, it's different. It's not the exact same game. So I kind of want to play it now, but I'll wait till I finish Mario 3D World. The next game I, I have is um, Luigi's Mansion Dark, uh, Dark Moon. This is the second game in the Luigi's Mansion franchise and I love myself a Luigi's Mansion game. I always finish these games so I don't know why I find his brother. I like his brother. I guess it's because his brother like such a scaredy cat but he still does it. <laughs> okay and the last game I have for you it's not really a Mario game but Bowser does appear in it is Skylanders uh, Superchargers Racing. Um, yeah this is a 3DS version. I have the Wii version which I'll show you later because it's in a big box set. Okay, the next game I have for you is Mario Super Mario Sunshine. Now I have the game in this little leaflet case, uh, but so this is just the box art. I, I take the games out of their boxes when I'm done with collection. Um, the next game I have for you is Super Smash Bros. Melee. A lot of people really like Super Smash Bros. Melee. Um, I did when I played it. Um, I did play it. It just wasn't. Fighting games is not my style. I'm trying to get into fighting games because I do play Smash Bros. Ultimate, but I don't know. I always have such a hard time. And then the last one I have for you is Luigi's Mansion. Now, this is uh, his first game. Um, also, Mario appears in it, so that's why it's here in the collection. Okay, the next game I have for you is Super Mario All-Stars. Now, this includes four games. So, this includes... Um, Mario 1, 2, 3, I mean Super Mario 1, 2, and 3, and then Lost Levels. The next game I have for you here is Super Mario Land. Now this is a Game Boy game. I don't remember which game this is. I know it's a remake of one of them. The next game I have here is Wario Land for the Game Boy. Obviously, it's a part of the Mario franchise, so I've included it. And the last game I have for you here is Super Mario Advance. I don't know which one this is a remake for, but I obviously owned it. I must have played it at one point. I don't remember. It was so long ago. Okay, the next thing I have for you are my Mario themes on my 3DS. So that's one of them. 
Okay, this is the second theme. I'll give you move it around. He, his mustache moves a little. Okay, this is my third one. Yeah, he hops around. Yeah. And the last thing I have for you is the Luigi. I think it's the same thing as the Mario. I think his mustache moves. Yeah, his mustache moves a little bit. Alright, so that's all my themes from my 3DS. Okay, now let's start with the, um, the guy who started it all, Mario. Um, he's the first Amiibo in the, the Smash Bros. line. And you can tell he's smashed by the gold Smash something ball at the bottom. Next one we have for you is Dr. Mario. Also part of the Smash line. Then we have Princess Peach. I really am not a fan of how her face looks in this Amiibo. We have Princess Daisy. Uh, we have Princess Rosalie. We have... Wario. Another amiibo I have for you here is Bowser. This is the Super Smash Brothers Bowser. We have to uh, Yoshi. Now, the uh, reason I included Yoshi is because Yoshi came out and was first introduced with Mario games, so I definitely put him in. But uh, you won't be seeing any Yoshi games, obviously. We got the Piranha Plant. Uh, there you go, better angle. <laughs> Piranha Plant. Then, same thing with Donkey Kong. He was put in the Super Mario Brothers line, so that's why I put. It, I felt the need to include him here. If they put him there, that means they included him there themselves. Then you have Diddy Kong. This one is so cute of Diddy. And then you got um, King King K. Rule, I think is his name. Don't quote me, I might be wrong. Then you have Luigi. And this is the Super Smash Bros. Luigi still boxed. I had to import this one so none of the wording in the back is in English. And then when they started re-releasing them, they started putting them in multi-language, I think, in the front and the back. Alright, uh, that's the last of my Smash Bros. Amiibo. Let's get into my um, Super Mario Amiibo. And now let's start with... Um, now some of them are in boxes, so if you don't see them loose, that means they're still in the box. My favorite one, the one I bought first, was Toad. I am hoping for a Captain Toad Amiibo, because he's so dang adorable. Next one I have is... Princess Peach. Now that's a better look for Princess Peach. The other one, uh, her Smash Amiibo, I did not like. Um, you have Princess Daisy here. She's super cute too. A little sassy looking. And another one of my favorite Amiibo is Princess Rosalie. I like her better with uh, the star, but she's super pretty. I like the color of her dress, I think. Um, then we have Yoshi. Um, we also have Donkey Kong, Diddy Kong. This is another one of my favorite poses of him sitting on a barrel. So cute. Got Waluigi. It's the only amiibo I think of him. He's not even included in the Smash amiibo because they didn't make him a Smash character. So, yeah, the only amiibo, the only time you'll see really Waluigi. Uh, the next one I have for you is um, Bowser. And these are all the, the red bottom ones. Um, let me get the boxed ones out for you. Okay, now let's get into the amiibo that are boxed for the Super Mario amiibo. And these are also the red bottom amiibos. So this is my latest purchase. He is a glow in the dark amiibo. And so I'm excited to have him because he was super hard to find where I live. So I just got him at a decent price. They re-released him in Europe. And I think that's why I got a decent price for him. Another hard to find amiibo in my area was the Goomba. This one I had to import because I could not find it in my area. And the prices were going just higher and higher, so I imported this one. Another hard to find one in my area was the Koopa Troopa. And so he's also an import. 
but that's okay they all play the same since we're still going with box villains another one in my set collection is the wario um it's also another hard to one to find in my area as you can see i paid more probably double than what i should have but it's better than triple or quadruple next one is donkey kong he's also part of the red bottom sets i think he was also an import another one i have for you here is luigi now he is not an import but i definitely didn't get a good condition box but it doesn't matter because they get unboxed eventually just not yet apparently so yeah that's him the next one i have for you is the mario the super mario mario um and i am missing the gold version of him i'm so sad but I do have, now, albeit my box is cruddy, I do have the silver version boxed. Um, yeah, see, my box is not in great condition. Um, you know, I planned on opening him anyway. I don't know why I just haven't. The next box ones you'll see here, the next box ones you'll see here are the newest ones to my collection, which are Cat Peach. She's still in the box. She came out with a new 3D, it's not called new, it's called Super Mario 3D World. She came out with the expansion pass with the Bowser Fury one for the Switch. And alongside of Cat Mario. They are adorable. I wonder if they're a meme. It feels like, it looks like it's plastic, but it would be cute if it was like furry. I still have a few more amiibo to go. So the next amiibo I have are the ones that were released for Odyssey. And so this is Bowser. I don't know if you can... There you go. You can see Bowser right there. There's Bowser. Okay. We got Mario. He's holding out his hands. He's ready for Peach's hand. And then we have Princess Peach herself. So those are my Mario Odyssey amiibo. The next amiibo I have for you here are the Mario 35th Anniversary Amiibo. This is the colored Mario. I had to import this one. And then um, the classic Mario. This one I was able to find here and I'm sure they say the same things on the back. Okay, the next amiibo I have for you here is the Super Mario Cereal Amiibo. Um, I the, I had it in good condition at one point and it just got smashed with everything else. But I have two of them. This one's the better version because um, I wanted to cut up one of them and um, use it. So I have this one that's in the box with the cereal inside and then one that's... I, I tried the cereal, not so great. Okay, the next amiibo I have for you here is the Skylander amiibo. Now that Skylander amiibo, you can use it as a Skylander or as an amiibo by just changing the little designation on the bottom. Um, I don't know if you can see it clearly. Let's see, it says amiibo on it. Um, so he, he came with that. This is a dark version. Came with that on his little car for the Skylanders. And so he came with uh, the car and the barrel of, um, and the car. Next one I have for you is kind of the same figure and this one is the regular version of Donkey Kong and the regular version of his car. So that's how it looked if you didn't get the dark version. Um, um, I came into the collecting game late so it took me a bit to find these Amiibo slash Skylanders but because I like Skylanders so much I have them. <clears throat> the next one I have for you here is Bowser This is the Bowser um, for Skylanders and it came with a his clown car Yep, so he, there was a light version and a dark version if you haven't already seen the dark version I'm, I'm not sure if I displayed the the, the 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 Skylander collection with the the dark version yet Now we have some collectibles um, This is a toy the Mario figure toy. I don't know if he can stand on his own. Yeah, he can stand on his own. Um, it's my son's toy. 
Um, got this Yoshi one. I think this is a... I doesn't tell you from where it's from. I think the bottom is broken. I, of course, have the, the Burger King toys that are out right now. Um, this is the Mario Maker. Mario? And uh, the Luigi Burger King toy. I have yet to open them. I also have uh, another McDonald's figure. Um, that's from the Mario Kart. Um, the bag is all cruddy looking. Um, yeah, it's toy number seven in for Mario Kart 8 toys from Bur uh, McDonald's. Okay, the next toy I have for you here is this behemoth toy here. It's also my son's toy. It's a Bowser toy. The thing is huge. But he's cute. He's movable, imposable, and all that stuff. Uh, the next thing I have for you here is a bag. When you go to the Nintendo store, they used to give you these bags. They stopped giving these bags out. So I have one for Mario. I have one in the back that you should have seen when I started recording of Donkey Kong. Um, so yeah, I had one for Zelda too, but that one's probably in my Zelda um, collections video links in the description up there. The next thing I have for you here is the Mario water bottle. You would have gotten this uh, with your tar with your Target pre-order. So this is a pre-order from Target. The next thing I have for you is the Super Mario 3D World Bowser's Fury poster. I think if I open this, there'll be another poster underneath with the, the little dinosaur looking thing. So cute. The next thing I have for you is this magnet set. This would have been a pre order bonus at Target for Super Mario 3D All Stars. I think it has a sticker sheet for each one Galaxy, um, Sunshine, and 64. Next thing I have, and this is still orderable at Best Buy. These are the coin collections um, for each Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, and Super Mario Galaxy. And the last thing on my collection is the Super Mario Bros. Um, coin collection um, album. Now, I didn't know that it didn't have all the coins. I thought it had all the coins, but apparently you're supposed to buy the coins separate and then put them in the album. I didn't know that, but the album itself is nice. Uh, if I ever get Mario coins, I'll just stick them in here or tokens of any kind that hopefully fit the same size. I'll just have some place to stick them. Well, that's it for my Mario collection. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my full collection of everything that I have is, that is Mario. Um, Mario has started to become a bigger franchise for me. I'm trying to get into it so much so that I'm enjoying playing with you guys on stream um, the Bowser uh, Mario 3D world and hopefully I'll start playing um, Mario Maker 2 so thanks for watching guys happy gaming enjoy the end of your Mario 35th anniversary bye